how to build an e-commerce store with Weebly.com. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from Daytips.com and in this video, I'm going to be giving a tutorial on how you can build an e-commerce website using Weebly.com. Now, this is a beginner's guide, so if you've never used a website builder before and this is your first time creating a website or an e-commerce website, or if it's your first time using Weebly, then I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use it. I'm gonna show you the main features and the main functions and the things you need to get your uh, Weebly website up and running. So as you can see, I'm actually logged into my Weebly site. And if I click this downward button here and scroll up, you'll see where it says add site. So if I click on that, then I can actually choose what type of site I want. So the site one here is for a static site and a static site just basically means that it, the page stays where it is. So with a blog, which is the next option, the blog kind of changes. So every time you update your website, the article you wrote maybe last week or yesterday will be pushed down and a new article will be the first thing that people see when they arrive on your blog. So that's basically the difference between site and blog. With the store function, this is what I'm going to be mainly speaking about today. This is how you can actually uh, monetize your website or add products and um, you know products and services to start selling directly from your Weebly site and to take sales from your Weebly website. So if we just click on store, and this will give you a lot of templates that you can use so you don't have to be a graphical designer, you don't have to hire anyone. It has its own inbuilt templates, quite easy for you to just use. So the best way to do this is to just look through all of these and see which one best suits your business. But just for the example purposes, let's say I chose this one, I just hover over it and you can see this yellow choose, choose button comes up. And if I click it, it will then take me to this page where I need to actually choose a subdomain. So a sub, the difference between the subdomain and the real domain is if you want to register a, a domain like here, it's actually going to cost you some money. So if you wanted a www.yourcompanyname.co.uk or .com, then that's going to cost you some money. If you wanted a free Weebly website and you didn't want to pay, then you can just end, you can just use it here. Maybe if you're trialing out Weebly for a week or so just to see how it is, then you might want to go for the free one. And then if you like it, you can go to the paid version. So let's just for, say for example purposes, I'm just gonna put example Sam Day and continue. So here I am, I'm actually in the editor of the Weebly website. And as you can see, there's a loads of different things here that I can add, title, text, image, gallery, slideshow, map, and there's quite a lot of things here that I can add um, if I wanted to, to my Weebly website. So media, this is like, um, so, so if we go down here to media, this is where you can add video, you can add audio, documents, YouTube videos, and downloadable files. If your website has files that people can download, then they can just click, click the download button and download whatever file that they need to download. Um, down here you have commerce, so products, you can add products like I said to your Weebly website, Google AdSense. Um, this is mainly if you're getting traffic to your website, if it's like a niche website or a blog and you wanted to monetize it and make money from your website using Google AdSense, then you can drag and drop that to your website, but I'm not gonna be concentrating on that today. Um, maybe that's for another video. And as you can see, there's more options down here, but what I really wanna get into is how you go about editing this site. So this is the template site that Weebly have given me. And literally, if I just hover over something, like I didn't click there, I just hovered over where it says my site, it gives me all these options. So I can have a text, I can have a logo. If I click logo, then I can put my logo up here if I wanted to, let me actually do that. So here's my logo and if I click on that, you can see it's added my logo there instead of the text that was there. Um, and if I wanted that to be text instead, then I can just click text and literally just click it and add whatever I wanted here. So if I wanted to say day tips, this is my website and I wanted to have it words instead of a logo, then I can do that as well. Or I can just turn it off if I, if I didn't want anything there at all. And then it's disappeared. So as you can see, I'm actually on the store page 
because this is kind of highlighted there. Let me just move my screen over a little bit. So I could literally add products. So if I click on add products, then it will take me to the products that I can add so I can give my product a name. Say if this was product one, then I can add a description about what product one is. And the cool thing about Weebly is you can select physical goods or digital goods. But if you want to select digital goods, then you have to be a paying customer for Weebly. But um, physical goods is basically anything like, you know, selling merchandise or selling something physical. Whereas digital goods is something like, you know, downloadable MP3 or if you're selling uh, electronic books or something like that, then that will be classed as, an um, as a digital good. And you can price your item here. You can, um, if you're having a sale at the moment, you can put your sale price, your SKU, which is basically just the barcode um, and you can put the weight of your product. Also, this track inventory feature, you can only actually use it if you're a premium client of Weebly, but this helps you to kind of keep in mind how much stock you have left so you don't oversell your stock. So for example, if you only have 10 of a certain item in stock, you won't you know, sell 11 by accident because this will automatically um, tell you that you know, you're going over stock and it will just it will put your stock to zero once it reaches zero. And as you can see here on the right hand side, you can add a product image. So an image of your product, you can just click there and then add whatever image you wanted to add. So if I wanted to add that, if that was my product image, then you can see that is there. And I just put, um, I can add another image here. Um, let's choose another photo. So I can add some images there. And then once I've done, once I've done that, I can literally just click save product and it would have saved my product. So another feature of Weebly I wanted to share with you is this categories um, aspect. So you can actually group your products into categories. So if I put add category here, if I had a, a category which was um, veg, so if I was selling different kinds of food, then I can have a veg category and I can upload an image as well. and click save category and I can select a product to be in this category I've only got one product here but I can select a product to be in this category and this is a really cool feature but it's a really good thing to do to have, have your website really organized into categories this will help you with search engine optimization and just ease of use um, for your website when clients come to your website and on the coupon side, this basically just means you can add coupons. So if you're having a deal or something, or if you wanted to send um, a returning customer to your website, they can actually get a discount off um, when they come to your website. So you can create that there. Um, again, you have to be a premium uh, customer to be able to use that functionality. So with orders, this will basically show you all of the orders that you've got coming through your website at the moment. And settings, you can change a few of your settings like um, the currency so if you wanted if you're living in the UK like where I am now then you'll change it to Great British Pounds or wherever it is that you live and there's some other features here you can change like your company name and your um, your company address and email and here you can have a returns policy as well and a lot of customers do actually check return policies before they decide to make a purchase on your website so it's probably best that you do have a return policy here so people know that you know if they don't receive the goods in the way that they thought they would or if they're not 100% satisfied they know that they can get a return for it um, shipping policy people like to know when their products are going to arrive so giving them a, a shipping policy that will be a good idea as well and this little checkbox down here will actually allow people who buy from you to leave a message. So for example, if I made a purchase on your website and I wanted you to leave the um, item, say I wasn't gonna be home and I wanted you to leave the item with my neighbor, then I can leave that in the note box here and say, oh, excuse me, can you please leave it at number 10 because I won't be home or something like that. And it's a great way to kind of, uh, for your customer to communicate with you after they've made a purchase. So another feature of this settings area is the checkout and this basically allows you to choose a provider for you to collect your payments. Now Stripe is one that is the default and you can use this as a free member 
and you can just click on enable this and it will take you through where you need to put your details. The most popular payment method probably is PayPal and you can't actually use this as a free member. Um, so if you, once you upgrade, you'll be able to sign up and um, collect payments through PayPal. Okay, so I actually want to go over to the display settings here and this just helps you to choose and decide how you want your shop to be laid out and how you want it to be displayed. Um, you can change how many products are in a, in a column and um, how many columns of products there are. So this just helps you with, you know, once you've actually got all of your products in your store, if you wanted to edit the layout of it, then this, way, this is where you'll come to change how it's displayed. So as you can see, I've actually come down here where it says emails. And in this section, you can actually um, customize the emails that people receive once they made an order from you or if they've downloaded um, something from you or a shipped email or a refund email or a canceled email. So you can have a pre-listed. So let's use the order one, for example. Thank you for your order. And um, that's what it says. I can change a message here so you can make it branded and you can add your um, personal message here as well. So people will receive this as soon as they make a purchase from your site. And in this advanced section here, um, you can actually add what's known as Google Analytics. So I get a lot of people asking me, Sam, how can I actually see how many people have visited my website? Well, you can use Google Analytics to do that and you get a, an, an analytics code. I'll leave a link in the description below as to where you can find uh, or where register for a Google, Google Analytics account. But it's simple. You can basically just go to Google and type in Google Analytics and the first result that comes up will actually take you to their, their, the home page and you can register. Um, but this is where you add your custom tracking code for your Google Analytics. So that's basically how you add and edit your store. And as you can see, there's different tabs up here and there's different pages here. So if I wanted to edit the about page, I literally, literally just click on the about page and it will take me to the about page and I can start clicking around um, and add, add in words, changing stuff here. I can choose a layout but just by clicking on that and choosing a layout or it says drag elements here. So I can actually add a title here and call it whatever I want about me. And I can add some verbiage here as well. So a little text about me and a slideshow. If I had some pictures of myself I wanted to show, I can have a slideshow and I'd have to upload the images that I wanted to use there. Um, and there's a contact form. So if I wanted people to contact me through the contact form, I can put it there. Um, and there's also a search box. So if I had a lot of content on my website and people wanted to search for specific content, then I can use that. Or I can add YouTube videos, um, downloadable files or um, HD videos. So any of these that I really wanted to do, I can really, you know, go to town with this as it were. If I wanted to add another page, now go up here where it says pages and click the plus sign and then I can add anything I want. So I can add a blog page. If I wanted to add a blog, I can add a standard page, um, an external page, which basically links off to another website um, or a product page. If I had another product page that I wanted to, to put up. So let's say for example purposes, I wanted to add another standard page called, um, let's say it was called Sammy. So now I've got this page here. You can see it's been added to the tab and it has a default template. So I can come in here and I can edit this image if I wanted to just by hovering over it, edit the image. And I, I can add an image of my own um, for my computer as you can see. And yes, that's basically how you add a new page. So hopefully this video helped you out with an issue you may have had and helped you towards understanding how to construct an e-commerce website with Weebly. Now, I highly suggest you actually head over to Weebly if you haven't already and have a play about with their website builder and try and launch your first website. Just have a play about with it. That's the best way to learn. But if this video was helpful to you, please click the like button down below. 
If you have any comments or questions, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, subscribe to my channel because I will actually be doing a search engine optimization for your Weebly website. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. But until next time, have a great day and I'll see you soon.